Hola amigos y amigas, you are now with Jocelyn y como siempre, I am so grateful you are here. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. You already know all the goodness we're about to get into in this video. And if you are new here, welcome as well. If you enjoy lifestyle, spirituality, self-development, journaling, and all of that good stuff, then make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my weekly videos and you join in on this beautiful, growing community. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you and guiding you through eight journaling prompts directly inspired by the energetic themes surrounding our upcoming Gemini full moon, which is the last full moon of 2022, whoo, which is taking place on December 7th. And there are a couple things that are really sticking out to me in regards to this full moon, which is going to be reflected in the prompts. One, this is really feeling like a, let me pause, let me take a step back, let me assess what is manifesting in my life, and let me see what needs to change, right? Let me see what is working for me, what I'm loving, what I'm not loving, what I'm no longer accepting, where I need to be redirecting myself. Um, and I'm not surprised that it feels like a big assessment type of full moon because again, it's the last full moon of the year. So we're already very reflectional. We're already kind of in this energy of, reflecting on what's worked, what hasn't worked, and how we'd like to move forward, which is great. I love that we are taking the time and energy to hold this space for ourselves to actually be intentional about how it is that we're showing up in the world and how it is that we're move, moving forward. So definitely be proud of yourself, okay? Um, and the other energy that I'm feeling is like this clarity surrounding the importance of feeling. I feel like there have been certain emotions that have been kind of popping up in our consciousness where we're realizing like, I need to allow myself to feel this so that I can actually heal this. You know what I mean? There are other energetic themes surrounding this full moon and I'm really excited to guide you through really tapping into it all. I'm going to be sharing an energy reading soon on my channel shortly after publishing this video. So if you're watching this, a few days after I publish this video, then it might already be up on my channel. So if you'd like to learn more about just the energetic themes and encouragements surrounding this full moon, then definitely check out the energy reading. But without further ado, y'all, let's get into these eight journaling prompts. Also, real quick, your girl is shifting her monthly gratitude circle that I'd host in person in LA to an online journaling club. So if you would like to journal with me um, and journal with a community of other folks who have been tuning into these videos and who are tuning into themselves, um, definitely join. I'm so excited to test this out and create this online community. So I'll put some info regarding that in the description below. It's going to be free donation based. So hope to see you there. Okay, let's get into these eight journaling prompts. What kind of conversations feel worthy of my time and energy? I am, as always, intentionally sharing this prompt as the first prompt because I feel like it is going to be the perfect prompt to not only get the juices flowing in our minds, hearts, and spirits, but also start to guide us towards the direction of 
assessment, right? And really getting clear on what we feel is worthy of our time and energy. And I feel like this has been a focus for so many of us this whole year, just like really coming to the realization and often checking in with ourselves in regards to, is this worthy of my time and energy? Like, is this actually in alignment with what I feel I am worthy of. And conversations is, I mean, a part of our day-to-day lives, right? It's a huge aspect of our human experience. And there are certain conversations that just don't, don't align with what we're worthy of, right? Whether it's just the energy behind the conversation, the context of the conversation, who it is that we're having the conversation with, So I want you to really take a moment to reflect on all that, all that comes with the experience of having conversations with others, with yourself, with spirit, with your goals, with your passions, right? Because we don't only have conversations with other people. We're also having conversations with so many, I mean, really every aspect of our lives. So kind of expand your perspective on the kinds of conversations that you have in your life. Um, Don't only limit it to having conversations with other people. Um, And take a moment with this prompt to really ask yourself what kind of conversations feel worthy of my time and energy. What is my heart desiring to communicate and how is my heart desiring to communicate? Speaking of conversations, right? Let's check in with our hearts and see and feel and come to know what conversations our heart are deeply desiring are nudging us to engage in to express as those of you who consistently watch my journaling prompt videos you already know that i love to include a prompt that gets us to align with our hearts, to check in with our hearts, to tune into our hearts, because y'all really, all this healing work, this whole spiritual journey really is a journey of becoming one with our hearts, right? Of really uh, healing our relationship with our hearts. And, um, understanding what our hearts needs and desires truly are and so surrounding this gemini full moon it's it's giving words left unsaid energy okay words left on red energy okay have we been have we been leaving our hearts left on red okay um have we been ghosting our hearts that is a good prompt to consider sharing with you all in the future but for now what is your heart desiring to communicate and how is your heart desiring to communicate it right because there's so many different ways that we can communicate our that we can communicate that we can express ourselves And it's unique to each and every single one of us. And it's also unique to the season that we're in, in our lives. And as our seasons change, as we change, so do the ways in which we communicate, the ways in which we express ourselves. So let's tune into our hearts. Let's see what our hearts are trying to communicate and come to understand how our hearts are designed to communicate it. And from there, once you see what comes about from this prompt, you can decide how you'd like to move forward in regards to this communication. 
Which emotion do I struggle with feeling the most and why is it worthy of being felt? As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, amongst this Gemini full moon, one of the energies, themes that I have been intuitively feeling coming up is certain specific emotions popping up in our consciousness and bringing forth the clarity that we haven't really allowed ourselves to feel this particular emotion. And it's time for it to be felt so that it can genuinely finally really be healed and released. And one of the emotions that I feel most of us really struggle to feel fully is anger, right? Anger gets such a bad rep. And I have been reflecting really this whole year, and perhaps you have too, just so much on the importance of allowing ourselves to feel our emotions, becoming more emotionally intelligent and realizing that every single emotion is sacred, that no emotion is wrong. And it's less about healing our emotions themselves and more so about healing the way in which we respond to our emotions. So all that to say, I really should do a whole video just regarding us feeling our feelings, but in this prompt, in this moment, under this lunation, let's reflect on a particular emotion that we feel we struggle to feel the most and really take a moment to think about and reflect on and journal why that emotion that we struggle to allow ourselves to feel is worthy of being felt. Why is that emotion worthy of being felt and why are we worthy? If you want to expand on it a bit more, why are we worthy of allowing ourselves to feel this emotion? When I pause, take a step back and assess what is manifesting in my life, what am I accepting more of and what am I no longer accepting? I mean, it can't get any more straightforward than this, right? And this prompt is really encouraging us to actually go through the process of pausing, taking a step back and assessing what is manifesting, what has been manifesting in our lives, right? You can't journal this prompt with, without actually doing the pausing and the stepping back and the assessing. And I highly encourage you to journal this prompt because again, y'all, this is the last full moon of the year. And I strongly feel confident that we're all in this mode that we've all been feeling called and moved and inspired to really just keep it real with ourselves and again take that moment to pause take a step back and see what's what's been up in our lives right what what manifestations am I accepting more of? Yes, let me continue to water this. Let me continue to affirm this. Let me give more life to this. I am loving this. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this. I accept more of this kind of manifestation in my life, which I feel like we all have been experiencing, right? There have been things, there have been manifestations in our lives where we've really been like, yes, this, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I want more of. I am so grateful to see this, to experience this, to witness this manifesting in my life. But there have also been certain manifestations where we're coming to realize like, this cannot go on any longer. I am done with this. I am over this. I have seen this come up in my life way too many times. I am ready. I am eager to no longer accept this, to declare, to affirm that this is what I no longer want to manifest in my life. 
and I am open to receive the guidance to fully let this go, to, to no longer manifest this in my life. So this is what this prompt is gifting us the opportunity to do. It's gifting us the opportunity to affirm like, yes, I am accepting more of this. And also to affirm, like, I am no longer accepting these kinds of manifestations in my life. In what ways am I feeling spiritually encouraged to redirect? Again, I would just like to let it be known that the order in which I share these prompts with you, not just in this video, but in every video is intentional. If you do journal all or most of the prompts, you'll come to find that the prompt prior is assisting you in the current prompt. So every prompt before is assisting in the expansion and the clarity of the following prompt and the following prompt and the following prompt. So if you journal the past few prompts and especially the last prompt, allow these prompts and what you've journaled to assist you in, again, expanding on and gaining clarity on what you will be journaling for this prompt. So all that to say, in what ways are you feeling spiritually encouraged to redirect? It's giving redirection energy. And this, the ways in which we are feeling encouraged to redirect will become clear to us when we are again, pausing, taking a step back and assessing our lives and what's been manifesting before us. We are reclaiming the power of our free will here, okay? That's a whole other conversation. But I say spiritually encouraged specifically because I feel like it's not it's not like we're we're feeling called to redirect because it's societally or socially or culturally, traditionally or externally in any way influenced. I feel like we really, so many of us have just been, been feeling from like from within this encouragement, this, this nudge, this, this like, like, yes, like redirect. And we can't necessarily, you know, put a pinpoint and specifically describe where this nudge is coming from per se, but we know it's there. We have this gut feeling. We have this in intuitive feeling, this, this instinct that is telling us you need to redirect in these aspects of your life. So let's listen to that. Let's listen to those nudges and journal the ways in which we're feeling spiritually, not societally, not culturally, not socially, not traditionally, not externally, right? Spiritually, internally encouraged to redirect. What new cycles do I sense myself transforming and transitioning into? So in addition to these internal nudges that we've been getting regarding redirection, I also sense that so many of us have been getting this internal nudge in regards to us stepping into new cycles in our lives, like us having these deep down gut instincts that I, I'm stepping into a new cycle. There is, there's, there's a big beyond what I can currently understand, beyond what is in my current 
limited perception and scope of imagination, there, there, there's a renewal taking place here. I am stepping into a, a, a newness that, that is really grand. And I want us to affirm that. I really want us to like claim that intuitive, instinctive, gut, internal feeling, nudge, encouragement that we are receiving, right? Let's validate it through this journaling session that yes, like I am sensing that I'm stepping into these new cycles. Like I'm sensing myself transforming and transitioning into these new cycles. So what are those new cycles for you, right? Is it a financial new cycle? Is it a relational new cycle? Is it a romantic new cycle? Friendship, um, personal, professional, spiritual, um, just really tap into these aspects, your multi- faceted, multi-dimensional self and again, claim that sense that you're receiving, that you're stepping into new cycles, that you're transforming and transitioning into new cycles in your life. How am I currently experiencing expansion? Again, use the last prompts that you've journaled to assist you in journaling this prompt. But for those of you who are listening to this and maybe thinking and feeling like, I am not currently experiencing any expansion. My life has felt so stagnant. I have no idea what's going on. There's no forward motion in my life. I am so stuck. I do not need to know what you've had going on, what you've been going through, what your external circumstances have been looking like to know that you, my friend, have indeed and are indeed experiencing expansion, okay? I know that we are always in a state of expansion, right? Because what isn't expanding in this life is dead. As long as you're alive, you are experiencing growth and you are experiencing expansion. Now, the pace of this growth and the pace of this expansion depends on our level of resistancy and on our level of uh, receptivity. But nevertheless, you, my friend, are experiencing expansion. And I absolutely know that to be true even more so because you're watching this video. Anyone who watches these kinds of videos and this kind of content that gets you to turn inward and to reflect and to expand your conscious awareness and gain self-realization uh, is someone who is experiencing profound, deep, internal, important significant expansion and this prompt is a prompt that is gifting all of us the opportunity to really affirm that and declare that and claim that just like other prompts in this video for this upcoming Gemini full moon have been gifting us the opportunity to do if you feel like this prompt doesn't apply to you, this prompt is encouraging you to shift your perception because again, you are experiencing expansion. So all that to say, how am I currently experiencing expansion? What is my current understanding about my subconscious and what would I like to understand? So we are bringing this journaling session full circle by reflecting on our relationship with our subconscious, which is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly important. The more that I learn about our subconscious, the more that I'm shook, but also not shook, that it was not a part of most of our curriculum growing up. Y'all, our subconscious is the main driving force 
of our lives. And we absolutely have the power to reprogram it, but we can't reprogram it. We can't truly experience deep, profound self-transformation without having a deep understanding of our subconscious and how it works. So this prompt is encouraging you. I know I use the word encouraging a lot. I just love that word. But this prompt is encouraging you to gain a deeper understanding of your subconscious. And part of the reason why I'm sharing this with you now amongst this last full moon of the year is because I know that subconscious work is going to become I mean, it always has been, but in this upcoming year and in the upcoming years, it's just really going to be a study that we absolutely need to tap into. So what is your current understanding of your subconscious? And please practice non-judgment here. Okay. Like I said, it wasn't part of our curriculum growing up. So a lot of us really don't have that much of an understanding. I mean, if we did, we'd be out here reprogramming our subconscious and liberating ourselves from a lot of societal conditionings and illusions. But what is your current understanding and what would you like to understand? And I'd just like to leave you with the a uh, note that whatever comes up for you in regards to what you'd like to understand, allow that to be an invitation to learn more. And that, my friends, are the eight journaling prompts for the upcoming Gemini full moon taking place on December 7th, 2022. Again, highly recommend that you check out the energy reading on my channel if you'd like to learn more about the energy surrounding this moon and also encourage you to register for the gratitude circle, which is transitioning from being an IRL LA based meetup to an online journaling club, which I'm excited to test out. Um, if you've been wanting to journal with me and journal with others in this community, then this is the opportunity to do so. And the first one is in December around this full moon. So I'll leave a link in the description below for those of you who'd like to register and learn more. And I look forward to seeing you there. And I also look forward to seeing y'all in the comment section. So whatever prompts you resonated with, I'd love to know in the comment section. I love cultivating community and connecting with you all in the comment section of my videos. And I thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for investing time and energy into self-inquiry and, and self-awareness. I'm so proud of you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So much love and blessings and peace and gratitude. Bye.